what really differentiates us, I think, ultimately from, say, a democratic school or Sudbury model is, is that we do think the lived experience of adults um, who, uh, who have been in this community for a while or who have been in other uh, communities do lend it themselves very explicitly to helping foster these processes mm-hmm. um, differently than just having kids, um, young people run, run the things. Right. But um, there are avenues for students to um, uh, broach larger topics, things that are troubling them. I mean, we have community meeting once a week, mm-hmm. uh, which is sometimes a place to do that. Um, sometimes we do a fishbowl conversation where people watch certain subsect of the of the school engage in a conversation about the conflict or right. um, something we're trying to talk about or think about um, and then like I said super meetings there's tons of different opportunities for that or in the advisory group but when it I do think when it comes to individual conflict resolution at least as we are now it's pretty mm-hmm. adult-led no it's fair that what I'm getting a sense of is adult-led for you is still centered in a commitment to student voice to sure. their being the, they're, they're centered um, yeah. and then that's that's a big differentiator from mainstream is that adult-led means adult controlled and adult voice this is the agentic schools podcast where you will learn about schools from around the world where children's agency to make decisions about their learning and living is more important than their academic skills I'm your host, Don Berg.